I feel better now. Are we adapting to this? I wonder if it will last. That pillar of light. The tear open there. We truly are in the eye of the storm. So Donovan has to be here. Can you feel him? Or his daughter? No, nothing still. No aura at all. Well, we have no other option but to get closer. This is not so safe after all. I just hope it does not swallow this hole. So the tear is doing the same, only at much larger scale. It is blending our world with the essence of chaos, after all. And it opened here, through this massive crystal, the relic. The statue must have kept it hidden, and dormant somehow. But Jugal knew, and he sacrificed the whole city to ignite it. He will pay for this. We need to find Donovan and Hannah first. They must be near. Then let's look for them. <laughs> Are you well? We shouldn't give chase if... It's only pain. This is more important. Disappeared. Demian, he's no longer there. I am whole. I am finally free. Oh, maybe we are free, my sweet Armina. The two of us, closer than ever. <laughs> so Donovan brought them here and did this to them. It was not his doing. It was Jubal's. They were all betrayed by him. And I can only feel pity now. For all of them. Ah, 
They're invulnerable! Let go, fiend! Jared, we need to break free, or they will turn us too! Hold on, brother. We will not fall to their dark power! The three will protect us from this heresy! Why do you resist? This is for your own good! We're not human, no matter what we pretend. We're something else completely, and we should be together! No one will tell us what to do! No one will hurt us again! to guide us here anyway and if anyone can put an end to this now it's you and I loot the solstice of souls so this is what it looks like Later. I knew you couldn't be far behind I must say I'm eager to get back to a more reliable reality one with clearer concepts of up and down, at least. But I had to witness this with my own eyes. It seems we found your relic. A vestige from the first solstice of souls. Dougal devised how to awaken it, setting things in motion again. But he needed a spark to light the fire, didn't he? Exactly. So he planned for Donovan to transcend here in Ilden. He knew that the transcended would find its way to the relic eventually. So how bad is this? Bad to the point that it is... irreversible. And worse to the point that Ilden is but one of the three sacred cities. Oh no! If this crystal is what the canticle was referring to, there must be two more crystals, in Goron, and even in Rain. The City of Light falls, and with it the Torchbearer. So the Shaper and the Judge are in danger too. We must seal the tear here, and defend the other relics. I fear that we won't be able to protect both. Focus on the task at hand now. Only afterwards we will... While well, the mortal body must perish, <coughs> that which is immortal is bound to be reborn. Dougal must be stopped. He wants to create a new world, but he will only destroy the one we have. Sir Donovan! We're here to help, if you let us. Please hold on! There must be a way. It's too late now. <coughs> My Hannah and I... We are doomed. I did my best to meet you here. It was all I could do in spite of all my strength and pride. I have always been but a broken tool in the hands of the Grand Master of the Ashen Blade. He even used me to perpetrate the lie about your rebirth. I... I am sorry. Donovan, it does not matter now. You must. It's Crystal. It's falling apart. <laughs> I am sorry. I can't hold any longer. But you... already. We are beyond redemption. I hope you can still give us oblivion. Then... your true mission will begin.
It happened again? I don't understand. Donovan swallowed the crystal, not Briar. It is not her mind that I am sinking into. What? Where am I? It feels like I'm suffocating. Lute, can you hear me? What's going on? You're with me? Here? Then this can only mean one thing. Be at ease, sister. We may learn something here. Briar, this is what I saw when you had your nightmares. So this is what remains of Donovan's mind. But how could we both get pulled in? I think it's the relic. Its power binds us all. Whatever certainties we had, we can leave them behind now. My dear Hannah, I failed you. Everything I did, I did to keep you safe. But I could not protect you from this. Dad. Anna. Father, it is not your fault. You have to let me go. I, I can't. I will always watch over you. Mother and I, we will keep you safe. Grandmaster Dougal, I left the garrison without your leave. I am deeply sorry, Your Grace. Your departure was more than justified. You do not need to apologize. My regard for you goes beyond your role as Captain of the Guard. My daughter Hannah, it won't be long before... I don't know what to do, Your Grace. The wisdom of the Keepers is beyond our grasp, Sir Donovan. And what looks most obvious to us may not be part of their design. Help me understand it then, so that I can finally bid her farewell. You could do more than just accept this fate. The bond you share with your daughter is strong. Stronger than death itself. Your souls are intertwined. With the blessing of the Shaper, we can give you both a new start. As a Chimera. That filthy schemer. He manipulated him into turning himself and Hannah into a Chimera. He took advantage of his desperation. Just as he did with us. We're nearly there. I'd be blind without you. We... we made it. You made it, Hannah. <sighs> I am proud of you, my dear. Impressive work, Sir Donovan. I didn't think it possible such a short time after your rebirth. It hurts, Father. It hurts. Now send her back. Your Grace, she's not well. It is unstable! Restrain them! No, Hannah! Don't! Yeah! Hannah has always been in pain. Just as she said when she awoke as a transcended. 
Her suffering did not end when she died to become a shade. If Donovan had known, I wonder if Jugo was aware of the consequences. I doubt it even mattered to him. Anyway, that's the reason why Donovan never summons Hannah. That's why he became the Shadeless. This way. Are you certain? Torchbearer wanders paths unknown, but eventually her light finds its way to us all. Such words of wisdom. But I'm sure you did not summon me to show off your oratory skills. Listen, it's dangerous for me to talk with you. I can't see why. We're both valued and reliable members of the Ashen Blade. You've been asking too many questions, Observer. Dougal is growing wary of you and your constant meddling. He told me to keep an eye on you. Do you understand what that means? So tell me what you're looking for and what you want from me. I only wish that the Grand Master does not stray from his holy path. But I have heard troubling things, and made even more troubling deductions. I don't have time for this. What is it you think Dougal is up to? The solstice of souls. Worlds colliding. The spawn of chaos crossing the veil on a rampage. Would that not trouble you? Hmm. Old myths, idle gossip, disloyalty. These are the answers I got as I asked around. But judging from the look in your eyes, I believe your answer will be different. I don't have one, Observer. But I know Dougal well enough. He is the reason I speak to you as an Ashen Knight. The cause of my daughter's never-ending suffering. And yet you've been his loyal servant for many years now. I took my oath to the Order, not to him. And Hannah. The least I can do is to make sure that her sacrifice means something. But Dougal's ambition, it has always troubled me, I admit it. If what you suspect is true... It is. And he knows I am prying into his secrets. That's why he asked you to investigate me. So what do you know? And most importantly, what will you do? Suffice to say that you know more than I. I will talk with Dougal. And I will stop him, if need be. Judge is on our side. He must be. Are you sure this is the best way to address the Grand Master? I've never been one for subtlety. I wouldn't know any other way. He still thought that he could overcome all challenges. With a true heart and a firm hand. Righteous and uncompromising. Or just foolish. Anyway, what happened next led to the massacre of Ilden. There must be something else buried inside Donovan's mind. Then we need to find it. What was that? Follow me. It's close. Sir Donovan, to what do I owe the pleasure of our visit and the request for such secrecy? I wish to know more about the Solstice of Souls. I didn't think you would want anyone else to hear our conversation. Always so thoughtful. But you were not as discreet when you had your little chat with that Leighton. You mean to betray me. We both know this. 
You plan to unleash this Solstice of Songs. You are the one who betrays our very mission. And how can you be so naive? This world is beyond saving. You can't deny that I'm right. Look at you. Look at your daughter. Shadeless. Blasphemous madman. You did this to her. I did it because you would not accept your fate. Remember? I've believed your lies for far too long. Believe what you will. You have outlived your usefulness. The solstice of souls will bring a new start, whether you like it or not. Now, oh, Cordelia, join us, if you please. Cordelia the Reaper. I knew that Dougal wouldn't confront me alone. Surprise, surprise. It's been a long time, Shadeless. Back to Duran already. I heard you were on a mission up north. Unluckily for you, it was just an old chimera. One that would not accept that their time had come. But you and me here, it's going to be a different story, no? You feed off the misery of your own kind. Like the vilest of scavengers. Shut up, you bastard! You don't deserve a place in Dougal's new world. Come on, Shadeless! Summon her! So you can have your sadistic pleasure! Never! Enough, Cordelia! Your services as a Reaper are no longer needed today. But why? This traitor deserves no mercy. And he won't have it. Look closely. You chipped his crystal. It won't be long before he transcends. All the more reason to end him, your grace. No, not yet. I have other plans for him. The Shadeless will do my bidding once again, for the last time. As you wish, your grace. Stop! You don't belong here. You have no right to his memories. Not that it matters anyway. We'll all be gone soon. Father and I, you too. Your wretched order, this world, and all its filth. There's just one last thing that I need to do. Father, I forgive you. You can rest now. I will relieve you of your burden. Do not resist. Do not oppose my will. No! Don't! There is no justice. Thank you.
It is. But do not let her cruelty unnerve you. We must stop her, no matter what. <sighs> this feeling, for the first time, it feels like my fate is in my own hands. And with these very hands, I will crush you. You're crazy. You have brought forth your own destruction. You are just like Father. You always think you know better, but I am no fool. Unlike him, I am aware of the consequences of my own actions. My new body won't be able to contain this power for long. But long enough to put an end to everything, starting with you! <laughs> <laughs> 